Alright everybody, welcome back. This is Koroth from Koroth Gaming and today I have my favorite online game, DC Universe. So with that said, yeah, it's just my favorite online game. I just love playing it. As you can see, I have three good strong characters here. But then that's not who we're playing with. We're going to create a new character. We're going to start from the beginning along with all of you. So with that said, Let's jump into it. I want you guys to see this game. It is amazing. So here we go. My greatest triumph was at hand. The final campaign in my long war against Superman. While his powers were drained from constant battle, sending him into space to recharge from the Earth's yellow sun, I struck. But my obsession had blinded me to the real threat, to Earth's true enemy. Concentrate fire on Luthor while I call down some artillery. Deathstroke, time for you to join the party. My favorite character there, the Joker. Lose something? Greetings, sister. Big bada boom, big bada boom. Here comes Superman. Yes. <laughs> Batman! Adam!
Brainiac had returned. For years, he'd been stealing the powers of Earth's protectors, but we were too busy fighting amongst ourselves to see the danger. With you three dead, Brainiac quickly eliminated the remaining heroes. The lucky ones died fighting. Finally, I alone survived a rat in the walls of the Brainiac construct. I have traveled through time to warn you. This is my past, but your future. And it means the end of humanity, so together, we must change it. What have you done, Luthor? Given you a fighting chance. He's lying. It's some kind of trap. Why should we trust you? Because if you don't, Earth is doomed. I've stolen Brainiac's exobytes and released them into Earth's atmosphere. They hold the power stolen from the heroes and villains of my time and will bestow them on anyone they contact. The exobytes will create a new breed of superhuman to fight Brainiac's invasion. You must teach them to use their new abilities, for they must be on the front line in the coming battle, or my grim future will become your own. I only hope I am not too late, for I will not be here to see this new future. My work is not yet done. I must leave this earth to you. Claim the Exobites and take destiny into your own hands. Alrighty, here we go. We get to create our character now. That was the video I had to let y'all see it. The damn thing is amazing. They did a good job on that, I have to say. Really, really good. So let's create us a male here. And of course, we will make him a. Should we make him a Spectre Large? I might make him a Spectre. No. Select Exobite download type. Create a custom configuration or imprint using data from an Earth hero or villain. Hmm. Let's make you a brute medium. Select. We'll create your own custom. Select I already know what I'm going to create, so Select I'm going to do this quick because you can behavior. spend a long time in this character uh, creation they have here. It's just amazing. I want to be powerful. Select Superman. Select power. Now for powers, that's the tricky part. But I'll go with fire. Select movement. And this is your movements in the game. As you can see, I don't have swimming. I'm not a you know paid player. Um, I have a, a premium account because I paid long time ago but I haven't so you get you know put down um, the game can be played for free there is restrictions however um, like the bank you got a little bit of bank restriction there's a little bit of money restriction you only get uh, 1500 as free as premium you only get 2000 and the easiest way to fix that is to pay five dollars into the game and then boom automatically you know it's gone you know, there's no more restriction to the money but yeah, you know, there's a couple restrictions that make the game go, damn. But it's nothing bad. I mean, I know a lot of games out there that you can play um, that there is bad restrictions to it. So this one ain't too bad. Um, so with that said, we are going to make our guy, you know, hmm, fire. Let's give him super speed and fire, make him look like the flash on fire. Now here's the weapons you get to choose. You get to choose hand blaster, one handed, staff, dual whip, two handed, martial art, dual pistol, bow, brawling, rifle, and if you had it, you can choose shield and look like, you know, Captain America. Well, 
long story short, to me, the weakest of them all, as I feel that, uh, you know, I don't understand why it's in the game because it just feels so weak, is brawling. Um, I don't know why, it just feels weaker than the rest of them. So I'm going to choose my favorite and one I've always liked in the game, um, hand blasting. And the reason I like it is it has the strongest uh, attack in my, to me, and it has the strongest attack besides the dual pistols. So, alright, let's get to creating our outfit um, for skin. We're going to go all the way to the bottom and choose youthful for hair. We are going to go down. I don't want to look like a mohawk person. Because we ain't going to get to see the hair anyway. Not that one. Go back. Gear. Head. Um, where's my top hat? I always love getting the top hat first. What is the top hat called if you need in there? I forgot what the hell it was called. I know it ain't hood. Hmm. Formal. That was the one. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna get formal. Already got the face. Emblem. Let's do chest. Let's go down. Do trench coat. And don't need nothing for the back. For hands, we're gonna go like your gloves. For waist, we're gonna go with metal head. And for legs, we are going to go with this jeans. Just regular old jeans. Feet. We'll go bite them. No. We're just old good ones. I don't need business with the ones I have on here. Hmm. We're going to make him look interesting. If you guys wonder what I'm trying to make, I'll just use business. He's pretty much a Gambit character, but, you know, not Gambit. So, we're going to go back to fix the colors to my favorite colors. Uh, here. Yeah. This all the way. Yep. Take this all the way there. Go to this part. Raise this all the way. Yep. Raise this all the way. Yep. This down. And we want to accept. Oh no, we, we got to do one more. We don't need this part. Go all the way up. And then all the way up. Excellent. Alright, now we're going to customize the, uh, the hair part. Leave his skin, you know, a little bit like that. Go to the hair. The hair will be black. So raise it up. Go all the way to red. And bring that red all the way down. Alright. Now we're going to go down to uh, eyes. We're going to make his eyes red. Eyes are red, but they're not any red. They are darkish. There we go. So to the next. Download successful. For a name, let's call him XX Poroth, since I know regular Poroth is taken. 
and finish. Yes. Error. Nope. Somehow I took that thing name. Okay, let's take one of the X's out of each side. And finish. Error. Okay, let's take the X out of this side. And finish. Error. Uh, come on, game. About X core on all oh, the keys. Error. Really? Okay, fine, then you won't let me call myself that, so we'll call ourselves something funny. Or something else. Let's call ourselves... A Burning Man. I don't know. This is... He's the Burning Man. Error. And of course, that'd be Take and Choose. Take and Choose. Damn it. Come on, man. Hmm. Okay. How about... Captain Butch. And I went. Earth. The center of the multiverse. It will belong to Brainiac. I do not plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These I will capture and digitize first. Of course, some non-essential information may be captured as well. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern me. There is no intellect strong enough or power brutal enough to resist me. Soon this planet and all it contains <clears throat> will be mine. Intriguing. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. These exobites are my own technology, each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes and seal Earth's fate. Oh, so you think, brother boy. This is a new obstacle. These humans resist my assimilation. My conversion units cannot hold them. Let the humans use their powers. In the end, they too will belong to Brainiac. Sure, Lex Luthor. Becoming Brainiac. Sure. Alright. Now we're going to jump in it. Hmm. So, with that said, guys, that was creating the character. Now we're going to get into the game here whenever it decides to load up. Um, yeah, this is one of my most favorite online games I've played. Um, one of the only games I've ever put money onto. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a pretty amazing game. So, oh, here we go. Um, I have a special treat for you guys here in a little bit. Um, I even got my girl to get on here and play it with me. Um, so, we'll be teaming up with her as soon as we both bust the hell out of here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go kill this dude. I don't know what the hell happened the there. worked. I'm in and you're awake and free. Whew. Okay, you bring me back I'm there? Oracle and we are going to get you off this ship. Look for a doorway out. Game being weird. Um, they just added a big update, so if there might be bugs, there they might be parts hack. it locks on, so just Watch let you guys out. know, don't, don't, you know, 
freak out like all units oh, I can't hear into him. I can't see Contain. what he's doing because there will be parts that Get they did ready. that in my readings show forces gathering beyond that door the reason I like the hand blasters is you can just sit back here and just keep shooting go ahead and start using my my super speed you use super speed by pushing F go ahead and don't know why you hit that but okay we're gonna shoot. There we go. Now move on. Gather reinforcements. I will patrol towards the prisoner bay. This is pretty much the tutorial of the game. They throw you in here. Damage detected. Then they teach you how to block, which is shift. You hold shift and you block attacks. If you let it hit you, it'll knock you on the ground. Then you have to push shift to bounce back. Systems damaged. Repairs initiated. And it's dead. That was an overseer. Let's get you out of their patrol range. Look for a transport tube above you. They crisscross the ship. Use that to keep All moving. Alright. And now we're up here. We're gonna walk in here and get our first ability. So here we go. Where you get to choose it. Um you got iconic powers. Um pretty much what these are, not the bottom ones down here. These bottom ones are some mandatory ones that you will need later. But these ones up here, all the way to about right here. So all of these are pretty much like, you know, the normal DC heroes and villains powers. Like you can, you know, have Wonder Woman's whip or you know, have uh, Venom's, or have uh, Bane's Venom, um, you know, Heat Vision like Superman, Freeze Breath like, you know, Iceman, so, you know, yeah, you can have all these, even you can have the, the gag glove, which is used by Harley Quinn and Joker, and you can use Joker's clown box, and, I mean, yeah, there's all kinds of them up here. These down here are what you would get later on in the game. When you hit level 22, you'll start getting these for your class, whichever class you're taking. My suggestion is always to get the uh, the defense and toughness first, or the power resistance. A lot of people would say get this, but this ain't important enough to get at the point unless you expect to, you know, use cars and heavy objects as weapons. Um, the weapon 10% weaponization rating is good for later, but you want to get this kind of stuff first because by that time your character is doing hard stuff. Um, and then you get your powers that your character comes with, which for fire you get either ignition or mutilation, which is pretty damn good. But um, the fire characters in this game can be either DPS or you can be a tank. Um, in my personal opinion, in this game, ice is the best tank. I know a lot of people out there are going to be like, bullshit, bullshit. To me, ice is the best tank. And the only reason I can say that is I have an ice guy. And literally, when I run with people, I barely take any damage. Um, the healers are always going, holy shit, I didn't have to heal you like crazy. Um, the trolls are like, hey, I didn't have to, you know, spam my energy all the time. So... You, you just have to know how to play your character role. Um, if you guys want me to do, you know, a uh, walkthrough for you guys to tell you what would be the best for uh, each class in the game, I can. Um, you just have to ask me and I'll, you know, sit down and talk more in detail about them. But right now, we are going to go with, let's see, this one makes you engulf yourself in flames, damaging enemies. And this one is blast a sing fireball at your enemy to damage and knock them down. So I hit him in the face with a fireball that absorbs heat, that does flame cascade, that's detonate. And then this one, if I get this one, it's either in flame, flashpoint, or meteor. 
So we are definitely going with this because I want my body to burn people away. So we'll go up here. It'll teach All you um, when you hit this box corridors. up here that you uh, how to equip your stuff. So uh, run up here and then you push your button to do it. Before I do this though, I'm going to make sure I go to my style down here. And make sure I lock all of it because I don't want it changing. So we'll go back now. Push I again to bring it up so we can equip these so they don't change my hand. In the game later, you will get, you know, uh, cash in here. You'll get um, different badges and stuff, or different uh, monies because there's different monies in the game and uh, your stats. Later on, um, you'll have to build up your character's CR, which is combat rating instead of the uh, armor, or instead of uh, levels, because you only level up to level 30 in this game before you have to start worrying about getting better gear. The entire ship is connected to Brainiac. You have to keep moving. Alrighty, so now we're heading on forward into it. Go ahead and take care of these guys. Throw my body Get on ready. fire. The ship is sending more security your way. Go ahead and kill that fella. Um, if you keep wondering why I look up at my corner of my computer, it's because the map's up there where my face is. That's why y'all don't see the map. There is a map, and it's actually pretty detailed, pretty good. So yeah, you know. Uh, we're gonna run. Gonna run. Got all them dead, so we're gonna Russian run forward. Human. Um, pretty much it's simplified down the map is. So, you know, you don't have to sit there and keep pressing the map button all the damn time. Cause I know a lot of us get tired of always having to click that damn map button. There's a high security so, nexus uh, up ahead. Get through and so use yeah, the pretty much. Tube. Now we're working our way down to get through the tutorial before we get to the city to where our mentor will be to talk to us alright go over here and click this treasure chest that's pretty much what these are is your treasure chest in the game these loot crates right here things go ahead and drop down here and then run forward and then jump and drop down because I didn't jump far enough. Need to press and hold E. Delivering shipment of now most of the time when I play this, I'll stop here a little bit and blow up these red the barrels because uh, you get feats in the game and feats in the game are really just things to help uh, make you get better or gives you points so you can get skills faster in the game. Um, and you'll want to get skills because the uh, skills give you, you know, better powers with your weapons, um, let you use more weapons, let you do more damage with your weapons. So you want to build up your skill um, quick, and you'll and you'll see the skill point here very soon because it's going to give me it. But see, like it says right there, I got 10 points for a feat achieved by breaking five red bur explosion barrels. I can stay here and build this up like I normally do to about 100 barrels or 50 barrels or whatever it is and then I move forward but I'm not going to waste time doing that today so uh, let's go ahead and get all these bad boys killed Delivering shipment of Earth goods. and go ahead and kill them get that boy over there and slaughter there we go anybody else all of them Alright, gonna kill all these the ship people. Is sending more security your way. We're gonna shoot this person in the face. Alright, move on. We are gonna move forward now. Look, if you look at the character, when I use that power, it puts a flame around his head. It, it, his head and hands. He pretty much looks like Ghost Rider, except, you know, without the skull. He actually has his face. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh these energy all right. readings... Brainiac has a full invasion force stored on this ship. We oh. have to destroy it. So he has a full invasion force on an in, invasion force on this ship, huh? 
So I guess it's up to me to, you know, break it. Okay. We're gonna kill these guys. You'll get crowd controlled. That's when you're supposed to push that shift button that I told you about. And it keeps you from uh, being held too long if you got a high enough, uh, um, what is it, resistance to it. So, uh, yeah. Um, some characters will be able to break those things easier, or some characters will not be able to. Performance. Go ahead and shoot the big beam at them. Come on. Initiating combat. Got it. Minor got it. damage. No, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Move. Move on. Move on. No. Critical damage. No. 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 Status critical. You gotta kill one more group. This teaches you how to block and how to break enemies blocking and all that stuff. Systems but. failing. I'm gonna go ahead and push through this real quick. And as you see, I got my first skill point. So this is what I mean by skill points. You'll get skill points where you can level up your super power, like your super speed, your flight, your uh what's the yellow one? Uh get that that uh oh acrobat and that swimming one or whatever it is, swimming one or flying in the air on this, whatever the hell that power was. You, this is what you would do to get it. You always want to get this at level 9 um, because it lets you move faster on the map. So that is something you'll want to get at level 9. Um, you'll get a lot of skill points in the game and you'll get um, some decent amount of power points. I can't remember if it's 30 or... I think you only get 30 power points but I'm not sure. Um, but besides that, we're going to move on here. I'm going to use it on my weapon, my hand blasters. Go ahead and use it on the, uh, the meteor blast. The best one to me for the hand blasters is right here. You go tap, tap, and you hold it. You do a, a ungodly amount of damage. And when I say ungodly, I mean an ungodly amount of damage. That's why I like this power, or the hand blasters more than the other weapons. So we'll move forward here. Damage to this vessel continues to mount. And you'll see all kind of enemies coming at me. So Contain let me get my human. hands on fire. My face on fire. Let's go ahead and kill all these people. Alright. Go ahead and use super you speed. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. You wonder why I'm shooting those barrels is there's different the barrels in the game and they give you uh, feet. Destroy so I'm shooting them while I can. External defense network will so, go uh, down. Then the league can get in and get So you yeah, out let me there. go ahead and get this going here. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. We're almost to the end of the tutorial. And then we'll meet up with my girl. We'll join together and show you guys what to expect for the first mission. And then that's when I'll probably call it, so uh, don't want to make the video too long um, but yeah if you guys want to see more of this I will gladly play it for y'all um, I even pull her along if she, you know she wants to play it that day so yeah you know play the whole thing through if you guys want to show you guys everything let me go ahead and smack this guy around a little bit he's gonna run at me again so put up the shield to block it and then go ahead and shoot him some more Smack him with our fist. Repairs initiated. And now he is done for a son. He's done. So now he's gonna run room. forward. Damage to the power couplings will And we're at the, the part to where it's the final boss the for the the you tutorial. Stop so the we'll take care of this little guy real quick. He's nothing hard. So. You're in the um, Nexus. Destroy anything connecting the I don't know if I'm ship. gonna get it this round, but most of the time I always stay in here to get that hundred uh hundred hit combo for a feat. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it right now. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But it is possible to get the uh hundred 
uh, hit feet. So, Alright. Now that falls. Yes. And now we take on the main fall. boss it's before our mentor below. comes and helps us. So. Where is he at? I will not submit to you. You go to hell. Performance now we're going to shoot him in the face. Damage sustained. And then we're going to punch him. Punch him in the face. And now he's going to go back here and throw balls at us. Stop playing with your balls. I know that sounded wrong. Don't even take that out of context. Don't want to hear nobody sit there and saying, Oh my god, he said don't play with your balls. So, uh... We're gonna... We're gonna get this, and then we're gonna get the team set up. Of me and my girl. Damage sustained. And... Her, and... Yeah, we're gonna pretty much murder the enemies, so... Go ahead and get this fired up. Let me go ahead and get him killed here real quick. He won't take long to slaughter. Ah, oh, he pushes me away. Performance impaired. And now he's dead. Damage sustained. This one has failed. Well, while he's dying, I'll go ahead and equip all my items. Superman, get ready. I'm bringing you in. When I equip my, my potions, you have in the game yourself. your potions are called solar. You will go down with this yeah. ship. It, it's pretty much cold. Think again, so, <laughs> It's pretty much. You can't take out the both just of us. cracking open us some pot. We're not leaving until we shut this ship down. Give me yourself a sugar rush. Permanently. You sit there and be like, oh, you know. What? A All right, here we go. I won't let it happen. You cannot defy the will of Brainiac. Surrender now and be destroyed. Now. See if I can get this hundred hit combo, or if not. Superman keeps killing them without me, so I probably won't be able to get it, so... I'll have to wait and see. I know I might get that 50 one. Got the 50 one feet. We have to keep fighting. Almost there. Keep fighting. The network doesn't want to let me in. Got 75. End this now! 81. Force Got 90. Is all you understand. Harvester ship v got the hundred one. All right, we got the hundred hit feet. So don't have to worry about that no more. That one is all done. The ship has been compromised. All units must evacuate. And let's kill this last guy here and talk to Superman to finish the tutorial. Nice work. Brainiac wasn't counting on you breaking free and disabling his ship. Now and use the teleporter and get yourself back to the city. We've got work to do. Here we go. Now we're going to go back to yes, the city. Yes, it's done. Let's Superman will finish here. Use the teleporters to escape. That, go! I remember, babe. Don't worry. Alright, everybody. I'm getting out of this part now. Oh, let me top stocking. Watch video. Brainiac. A nightmare from my past, here to ravage Earth. Our shared might unable to stop him. But now we have a chance. New heroes, with powers saved from a doomed future. Heroes able to take on all threats. I know today's Lex Luthor. Even the warnings of his own future self cannot stop his mad vendetta. I am Superman. I stand for truth, for justice, and for the future. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Now we're gonna go out of here, go to the town. And we're gonna get 
my girl up in here with us. Now, to do that, when you have to refer to friends in this game and all them stuff, you have to push the F button. See, like F1, F2, F3, F4. All those now buttons, they have the ship, it set like that. I You've just teleported into the MPD's ever. third so, precinct station. Pretty One much. Many Justice League safe houses F4 we is keep to the, the is the social key How to get to talk around. to everyone. The safe so, are where you'll find when you get out, for this is where you're at. Mailboxes, vendors, they put you in this, and, the to the and you Justice run League around Watchtower. to where she tells you to. So, we're going to first sell all the garbage we got in our inventory. The vendors the are where vendor. you go to repair any damaged equipment. Or sell any items you don't need. Some of the vendors sell unique items, and as soon as you have enough renown, you can purchase those as well. We repaired our armor and stuff, and you can you'll come back and you'll buy stuff from them because you'll want to collect the styles because it also gives you feats. So you'll want to do that. So now we're going to go over to the mailbox now because this is the mail room with the you mailboxes, get of course, a piece of mail from finishing the tutorial. Your PVP and alert holograms. Go ahead, check your mail. I sent you something. Then find Protostar Blakely. He has a message for you from Superman. And now we gotta go talk to a guy who has a message from Superman for us. So we'll run over here, get this, and then get my girl to join us. Gorilla Grodd is attacking Which she's the Queensland standing right Boardwalk. beside me right now. His army is so. devolving humans to apes. Using some kind of tech this even Star Superman. Labs hasn't seen before. I saw how you dealt with Brainiac. We've got to get in there and I'm stop them before they the overtake Metropolis. Metropolis. With the Brainiac attacks, we need all the help we can get. Gorilla Grodd's army is attacking and devolving humans into apes. We've got to stop them before they overtake Metropolis. All right, click friends. Go to Green Hair. And then invite to the group. Once she gets back in the room, that is. So while um, we're waiting for her to get back in here, um, <clears throat> yes, DC Universe. It's free to play. There is some restrictions, but it's still amazing and it's fun. Um, and with this game, it's not like WoW or other games where you have to pay monthly. If you can pay monthly this, if you want to. But you don't have to. You can actually pay for the game and be able to just play it without having to, you know, waste the monthly money. Um, but every time they have a new add-on to it, you will have to buy that add-on. So, yeah. Or you can pay the $15 a month and whatever, or whatever it is, $12, 15 whatever it is, and you'll get it all the time. So, um, yeah. So you can actually buy this game and not have to pay a damn dime. So, um, right now we're going to invite her to the group because she's standing here right in front of me right now. In her sexy greenness that she's wearing. So, she's in the group. And now we are going to set out on the adventure. So, with that said, let's keep going. We'll do this first few missions before uh, we end this one. Um, if couple parts in here lag. I'm sorry about that. My broadcaster today is being a dick. Um, and also, as I said, they put a new expansion on this. So, or a, a new episode or something into this. So, there will be a little bit of glitches until, you know, they fix it. Every game has that kind of shit. It's annoying, but it's part of the way the process works. So, oh! <laughs> Lord knows I play a lot of games that that happens in. So, so yeah, pretty much we're gonna go out in here and kick some gorillas' ass. So yeah, we're gonna bitch clap some gorillas around. We tried to stop That's the first at mission. Queensland boardwalk, but they're using so, Star Labs yeah. hasn't seen in action before. See what you can do about shutting this down. All right, so we're gonna go out here and go over here and you know jack slap these gorillas and hope they don't beat us up. We'll go ahead and set them on fire. I don't even know what the hell those gorillas were even doing. This gorilla just jumped over me. Um, and before you ask, yes, you do get hit with monsters. Um, 
And later on in the game, you will run hard missions where you will get your ass kicked. There is no ands or buts about it. Um. And my girl, she told me right now that her weapon of choice she's using right now is bows. And her abilities is gadgets. So you will be seeing her throw bombs and shoot arrows. Where me, I am fire and my weapon of choice is hand blasters because I just love the damage it does. And I leveled up to level 4. We'll kill this one guy here and then we'll set our skill point. And we'll get this green thing because in the game you will find these. You have to get them because they are a feat and they also give you a story if you're a person like me who likes story in the game. But you'll want to collect these. These are very important. Gorilla Technician Report. General Grodd brilliantly designed this to shred upon impact, ensuring maximum devastation. Alright, so now we'll push K to set our new power. And, hmm. We're not going down this tree yet. Let's go with this. Let's choose. Should I do meteor? Meteor. Bombs down. Damages enemies. Scorches the immediate air. Damaging and knocking down nearby enemies. Engulfs yourself in flames. Damaging and knocking down nearby enemies. So. The Justice League will get you. Hmm. Okay, what's this one? Burnout and overheat. This one. I'm gonna choose this one. So we'll go ahead and go back. And we'll push select because we have to uh, need this, babe. We're both gonna need it to show them the rows. Um, if you need things, it'll row. And whoever gets the highest row wins it. It's pretty much like all kind of other games. So, um, why are you up there, babe? And uh, my girl done run up here and got a quest. That I was like, okay, we were gonna have to come back over here anyway after doing this mission. Grod's teleporters so, uh, run off fuel cells. We're gonna go up here and grab the this little side mission. The fewer troops um, you'll want to grab in. these side missions because they help it? you level up faster. You can level up um, just doing the regular quests and skipping the side missions, but if you do the side missions and the 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 regular missions, you'll level up faster. Plus, if you do the side missions, you get marks of victory that you can use later to buy badass-looking gear. So you'll want to accept it. And we'll go ahead and head over here and take care of business. Protect the fuel. So we'll, we'll, we'll head over here. The fuel we gotta beat up some tanks. And then we gotta go take care of some... Devolution um, fuel cells under attack. Gorillas being buttholes over there. So... Go ahead and take care of this. Go ahead and Evolution kill this fuel person. Cells under attack. The fuel cells. I, I'm just. I, that's why I love hand blasters. They just they feel so OP. And there's another green thing you saw it out of the corner over there. We're gonna go get that real quick after we kill this butthead. And he's dead. So now we're gonna go get this. We'll both need on this. Gorilla technician report. This chassis is infused with a metal alloy so advanced the humans' primitive weapons won't even leave a scratch. And there we go. Now we're gonna destroy him. Ah, don't even hit me, Gorilla. What the hell you think you're doing? Get up. Go ahead and set him on fire. We'll go ahead and go get these other barrels. Okay, I guess I'll take care of these guys over here. And we'll go shoot this barrel. Devolution fuel cells under attack. They blew up. I'll go ahead and go over here and get these assholes off her. Freaking wimpy ass gorilla. Don't hit me like that. What the hell you hit me like that for? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know you guys like that. What the hell's going on? So yeah, want to sit here and protect the fuel. It is needed on the front. 
keep doing this until we get all 20. This is the way the game is played. So if you're one of the people that don't like, you know, quests like this, where you have to go destroy this certain amount of stuff and then run back and destroy this amount of stuff and run back, this game won't be for you. But if you're a person who likes, you know, DC Universe, the whole DC uh, comics like myself, and you like, you know, action games, and you like, you know, cool looking badass superhero games, yeah, this is your game. And I'm gonna say it, and nobody get offended to me, but this game is a hell of a lot better than that Marvel game they made. Um, don't get me wrong, I like that Marvel Alliance game they made, it's just, it's not nowhere near as good as DC Universe. Um, and now if they would have made that Marvel Alliance thing, or whatever it is, um, like this, it would have been a breathtaking and amazing experience. But it it's not now. I mean, I've played on it. It lags like a motherfucker unless you have the best computer. Um, if you don't have an amazing computer, like I don't have an amazing computer. My computer is like bare minimum of a lot of things. So it makes it hard to do things certain times. So yeah, you know, you, that kind of a game, yeah, not worth the waste of my time unless I had a better computer, because that's just the way it is. I think she leveled up, Protect the fuel. It is needed on the front. and we'll go ahead and go ahead and kill Protect these guys, the fuel cells. and we'll go ahead and shoot him some more. All right, we're supposed to go over here. All right, disable gorilla teleporters and disable these things. Now we have to disable this before the uh, gorillas come down, which we didn't get to do. So we're going to set them on fire. So we'll push E and disable them. Teleportation crew we'll go over to here and disable this one. And we'll go ahead and set this guy on fire. And apparently we got more assholes following us, so we'll go ahead and shoot them in the face. We're gonna take care of them. I don't even know why these guys showed up. I guess they just wanted to die. So we'll go ahead and get this one. And we'll go over here. No, not over here. It's behind me. Right. Uh, nope, that's the thing. It's over there. We'll go take care of this one. We're gonna shoot him. And we got one more to get. Which my babe's over here getting right now, so we're gonna kill that and we're gonna open this. And that's all of them for me. She might have to get one more. Nope, we got them all, so... Found them for broad. I'm going to kill this guy so I can get the quest out of the way. Get me some armor. We tried to stop Grodd's gorillas at the oh, Queensland boardwalk, click. but they're using tech even Star Labs hasn't seen in Maps action before. The See what you can do about shutting this down. We didn't get enough maps, so we're going to run over here to get some maps. Just going to run past all these guys. The they'll just, they'll just keep chasing you, but then they'll get tired. Oh, what the hell am I going to do that for? Yeah, sometimes when you're running, you have to watch out. Protect your character do shit like that when you got the super speed. Let me push select. Click this. And we'll uh, we'll get over here. Get some more gorilla scouts to get them items we need. You've got to stop them. Did it finish it for you too? Stop! You're hurting me. Yeah, I told you, run past them. You don't have to fight them. You gotta be quick, woman. The fuel cells. You can't do be slow. Destroy the fuel. Yeah, you do. I'm right here. But there was no need to fight. There was no need to fight all this stuff. 
Found them for broad. You got you gotta remember, babe, you gotta follow that arrow. On the map. Right over here is the arrow. So we're gonna shoot him up. Um, we're gonna turn this quest, and might have to call it. I don't want this video being too long, so let me go ahead and shoot him in the face. Alright, and we'll go ahead and turn Here's in this some quest. Here's intel. Gorilla Grodd is a hyper-intelligent ape who hates humanity. He believes apes, meaning himself, should rule. As if Brainiac weren't bad enough. Alrighty. Hey, so you should know that people everywhere can use your help. Usually you'll find them near crisis spots in the city. Here's one. See so if we'll you can go lend a hand. We got to talk to Lieutenant Heroin. Nice. Without those fuel cells and his fancy tech, Grodd's gorillas will be heading back into the jungle in no time. Those gorilla troops are trapping now civilians we with Grodd's devolution devices. Troops Destroy the devices and, the devices and Grodd's forces. And the soldiers were talking to Lieutenant Harlan. That'll have to do for next time, guys. Um, we're going to drop it here. Because the simple fact that it took a while to get to the tutorial and the character creation and this. And I don't want to make it to where it's too much at one time. So if you guys want to see more of me playing this with my girl, let me know. I would love to play it with you guys. And play it with her so we can show you guys more of the game. So, with that said, this is Koroth from Koroth Gaming. Let me get my, my myself situated. And uh, if you have, or if you like this game, or you know, you just want to ever play it, go ahead and talk down there in that, you know, comment area. I'd love to hear you guys talk about it. Um, also, if you guys like this video and you also, you know, like the craziness that was going on in it, hit that like button or subscribe. I would love to have you guys and also talk to you guys and, you know, yeah. So with that said... This is Korath from Korath Gaming, and I will see y'all next time. Have fun.